All right. Fine. So any button apparently includes the record button. This game is still terribly loud. I don't know what it this I don't know if it's still recording us or not. Yog. Yog, why is it loud? Because it's the Yog and it hates you. It does. It hates everyone. That's better. It's in Hello everybody and welcome to the Yog. This game is in cahoots with GLaDOS from Portal. I just know it. No. Oh, it's pretty obvious. No, GLaDOS is sci too scientific, and this is too fantasy. They're both evil, that's what they it have in It seems comics. almost like story. a children's book sort of thing. I'm Journeyman Vance. Are you just no one now? Hello? Yay. Oh, there you are. I'm Journeyman Vance, and this is... Uh, for Dragon 76. Hi! Hey! <laughs> Press any button. No, I, I, I don't have an any button. How about, uh, how about A? It worked! Which character would you like to be? I will be this one. Um... You have a black lady. A black burly looking lady, a blushing blue lady, and the mountain man. I'm sorry, I think I took the best character. Let's be racially diverse and go with the burly black lady. Cause I don't discriminate. Yeah. The Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. So here's how this goes. Oh, by the looks of it, you are going first. Where would you like hmm. to go? Um... Let's see... I like me some alchemy, so let's go to the alchemy tower. Clean the lab or brew a potion? Hmm, let's clean the lab. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. Oh no! How do you dispatch the ooze? Oh, uh, shoot! What? Do you punch it? Like the manliest of women? Or do you blast it with magic that you have five, uh, six of? Honestly, it doesn't matter since you have six of both physique and magic. So neither one is better. Punch the thing! Punch the thing? Punch it! You pummel the ooze until nothing but a puddle remains. You gain two physique! Heck yeah! The acid from the ooze sears your skin. You Crap. lose one physique. So basically you gain one physique. At least it was only... The alchemi alchemists apply a cream that heals the burn, but your hand just doesn't feel the same. My turn! I cannot go to the it's alchemy the tower because you are there. I will wear this scar proudly. I will go into the forest. You do that. To chop wood. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and you earn yourself one wealth. One day, during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. At first, Plague. you jump backwards in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. They call you oh. over. Excuse me, sir, one of oh, them says wow. in a high pitch. Excuse me, sir, 
one of them says in a high-pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? You see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. We're trying to decide between Seedpaw, the vengeful, and Blighttooth, the wise, says the rat. Sp Seedpaw steps forward. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader. One who isn't afraid to take uh, take our fight to the enemy, proclaims Seedpaw. Blight, a blight tooth stuff. It's all these rats, man. They got me doing the, the high pitch sound <laughs> all the time. Blight tooth steps up. If you vote for me, good sir, I will le lead these rats to an age of enlightenment. Blight tooth. Which rat do you choose? Hell yeah, wise what? Oh hey, I can pull up your thing. I don't see what reason that would that would apply to, but Blight Tooth, the wise. Or with adorable. Seedpaw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Blight Tooth climbs up onto your shoulder and whispers ancient secrets into your ear as thanks. You gain one mind and one magic. They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Yes. It is your turn. Waiting for the screen to change. There we go. Mm. It's the same options. Um. Tavern. You gonna drink all your problems away? Or drink other people's problems away? Mm. Oh, it's, ra time. it's rainy outside. Will you I've, read this? You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. Woo! One day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Uh-oh. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Do you join, join the, the fray or break up the fight? Break up the fight? I won't have any that in my tavern. Jump on top of the table and yell a plea to the patrons to stop all the violence. The patrons ignore you completely and see one another. Oh boy. You go to sleep that night thinking a little less of the human race. You lose oh. one chunk. Thanks. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to the slums to fight You're crime. Right. Da -da -da -da! You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You yeah, gain one yeah. mind and one physique and one finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Feeling a bit alone, a little lonely tonight? He asks. For only a small amount of coins, I can make you feel good all night. Uh. Oh, first of all, I don't have two wealth, and second of all. No thanks. Your loss! It was on us in a heartbeat. Or so the stories go. The earth shook. The air went. Still. Mysterious! Indeed. Waiting for the screen still because... Just because... Yes, yes. Please tell me it didn't freeze on me. I think it did. Could you refresh the screen? Herpsy. Herpsy. Sorry about this, guys. Skype has technical difficulties sometimes. It's okay. You still have forest, arena, alchemy tower, gardens, palace, tavern, hospital, and slums. Hospital. Your options are clean up or tend to patients. Tend to patients. 
Oh, it's apparently not letting me screen share now. Tend ah. to patients. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. You have two well, a two more wealth than I do. One day you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Soon afterward, a, a glowing blue ghost floats, floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize that she is freaking everyone out. You decide to do something about it. You, do you talk calmly to the ghost or vaporize the ghost with magic? I resolve things calmly because I am not- We seem to have uh, fixed problems. Yay! After the problems occurred. Yay! Talk calmly to the ghost. Now it's your turn. You approach the spirit and try to explain to her the effect she is having on the sick. You're not convincing enough to be able to persuade her to stop her haunting. Damn Man. it! Eventually everyone gets used to her and learns to live with the creepy ghost. Well that's good. Your mental resolve hardens. You gain one mind. Where will I go? I think I will go to the gardens. Landscape or meditate? I will landscape. Oh my gosh. I am like the ultimate gentleman. I say, this is the most spectacular of, of hedge birds, hedge birds. It's a topiary. You s yes, I know it's a topiary, but hedge bird. You spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and to earn yourself one wealth. Yay. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there! You there, young person! He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Sure. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun. The wizened old ma- Is that how that's pronounced? I don't know. The wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your, in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours you begin to feel faint. Gradually everything grows dark. When you awaken it is evening in the garden, and an ancient gnarled tree stands where the- Ah. Oh. For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. Wow. And Dude. Then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. <laughs> screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. And Mega Man sounds in the background. Sorry, that was my sky, but I should put myself on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Where would you like to go? Hmm. I think I'll go to the forest next. Would you chop wood or hunt? I suppose I'll chop wood, because I don't like the idea of hunting. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two to seek and earn yourself one wealth. You are the manliest woman. Yay. And I am a gentleman. One night through the trees, you spot a group of cloaked figures all standing in a circle. They are chanting in unison. Oh dear. Oh, mighty lord of the night. Master of beasts. Bringer of pain and derision. Uh -oh. You accidentally step on a twig. This happens Producing every time! <laughs> Producing a loud cracking noise. D uh, twigs are dicks! They're always like yeah, right there, and they're like, hee 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 hee. Are you trying to be sneaky? No, you're not. Uh huh. Did you read that already? No, you interrupted me. Sorry. They immediately stop chanting and look over in your direction. Take them on or run? Bitch, I'm the manliest woman! Yes. You draw the weapon, ready to fight. Which in this case looks to be an axe. They all run at you unarmed 
cackling. Oh gosh. You cut through them like butter. Oh wow. Each one you slay burns insane mutterings into your mind. Oh shit. Oh no. Those three mind fuckers. What great practice though. Woo! You can't see physique, but I value my mind so much. Yes, but you will. You should probably go to the arena next. Um. I will go to the palace. Do administration work, attend ball. Admit. Admin work! Yay, papers. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and one mind. One day, the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks, excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Sure. You spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. You gain two finesse. Girl, I am all the finesse. You gain another two finesse. I'm, I'm just get all the finessing. You happily pay the jester for his services. You lose one wealth. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Oh boy. Week five. I don't know how many weeks this is. I you suppose. Should probably, you should probably go to the arena. You've got twelve physique. Oh suppose, gosh, look I at the suppose, fog! Ugh. Yeah, arena. Compete in fight or bet on fight? Compete. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. Woo! While wandering around the halls between matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. Wow. Um... Well then. An awkward exchange happens, in which you want to show how they're doing without seeming to care too much. After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular fires in the arena, butts into the conversation. Dang it, Jean! Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's in time. Jean, how dare you! You say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. Oh... How do, how you, do feel? you feel? Happy or jealous? Happy. Good. You feel it's good that both of you have moved on. This encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. One charm. Oh. Woo! God, my, my stats are so unbalanced compared to yours. No, you're fine. You got more money than I do. I suppose. I shall go to the tavern and drink! You spend the entire week getting wasted! <laughs> wow! <laughs> you gain two charm and one physique, despite the fact that I don't actually drink alcohol. One day, a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the ta tavern's atmosphere. You decided to do something about it. Challenge him to a loot duel! Holy crap! You borrow the bar owner's loot and challenge the bard to a musical duel! Yeah! You play out a beautifully beautifully complex combination of arpeggios. The tavern roars with applause! Woo! The bard tries his best to re replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. Well. Wow. I just... Holy mackerel. I'm a mate. I beat him so bad, I'm surprised he's not flying out the door from ho how poorly he did. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. You gain one finesse and one charm. The Yogg.
It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Dat fog, yo! Mm. It's week six. Mm. You're stronger than I, but I am... I have twice the finesse that you do. Slums, I suppose. But it is neither cooperative nor a competition. Where? Slums. Going to fight crime or pickpocket? Fight crime. You spend the week. Oh, yeah, that's you. <sighs> Sorry. You spend the week out smarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. Her shoulders remind me of Super Time Force for some reason. One day, while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones used to line the room seem to have a certain pattern to them. Okay. You don't manage to figure out the mystery, but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the patterns of the tiles. You one gain mind. one life. Good. You need it after losing so much to those creeps in the forest. No kidding. Speaking of the forest, back to it. I will chop wood. Spend the week cutting down trees for the village, because no one likes hunting. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day you stumble upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You sit and eat your lunch in front of the hedge, wonder wondering what exactly it's doing out in the woods. That is odd. What? Huh, I wonder what this bush is doing amid all the bushes. Well, it's and a the nice trees. trimmed bush. Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Punch it! <laughs> Punch it! <laughs> what? Well, I have the physique of... Oh, I was gonna say I have the, I have the physique of your character, but then I noticed, nope. I'm gonna punch the hand. Punch it. You manage to punch the hand so hard that you appear to have shattered one of its fingers. Holy mackerel! The hand recoils back through the hedge. You then run away faster than you ever have in your life. You gain two physique. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning it still rages. For th three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. You see the graveyard has our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? Choose your role. Hmm. The leader, the builder, the conjurer, the doctor, the smelter, the tailor, the looter, or the town drunk. Well, if I had the proper stats for it, I would usually be the doctor, but I think I'm more of a builder in this case. Fair enough. Still a good roll. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. Your hair has seen better days. No kidding. <laughs> you rebuild homes at breakneck speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Yeah! I will be the leader. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You try to delegate tasks, but can't get many to- Oh, charm! Dang it! Can't get many to listen. You try to give congratulations to hard workers, but your words come across as insincere. You help the re res rebuilding effort a little. Well, poop. And so, we set about our tasks. 
once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? And thus was the Yogg. Short, but pretty good game. The Yogg changed you, probably for the better. With the town being rebuilt, you eventually decide to retake your role as a doctor in the hospital. Huh. Hey, there you go! Woo! It yeah. all ended, it all came out the best in the end. There, you make friends with another doctor. The two of you do everything together. You're inseparable. Eventually, you even decide to get an apartment and live with each other. Then your friend gets married and everything changes. Their spouse has to move away to a new town and your friend follows. You try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You try to fraternize with the other doctors. While they're all nice people, nothing can compare. Sigh. The Yogg traumatized you deeply. Despite everything starting to be okay now, something in you snapped. Maybe it was witnessing a baby floating face down in the water. Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly, his eyes an empty void. Maybe it was the music being so loud! Perhaps it was when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school had resorted to eating their rotting teacher, teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink so much, you're not entirely sure which, what is real and what's an illusion. One day you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. Well, poop! Well, that's the end of that! I would like to, to thank my friend Toa, who got this game for me. Toa, you're awesome! Yes. This game is awesome, despite... I was not expecting to go crazy at the end of that. I wasn't expecting it to be so short, but eh. Well, it's only seven weeks, and then the Yogg strikes. No, six weeks and then the Yogg strikes and then oh, yeah, six weeks. Um, rebuilding. So, technically seven weeks in total. Mm -hmm. Now, the next time I play this game, it will be different. And the time after that. And the time after that. Yep. Maybe we'll revisit. Yay. Revisit the Yogg. See you, everybody! Bye!